we will discuss Tinea corporis, a common fungal infection of the skin often referred to as ringworm of the body. Despite its name, it is caused by fungi, not worms. This infection can affect any area of the skin except for the scalp, face, hands, feet, groin, or nails, which are affected by other forms of fungal infections. Tinea corporis is typically caused by fungi called dermatophytes. The most common culprit is Trichophyton rubrum, but other fungi such as Microsporum canis, often spread by pets like cats or dogs, and Trichophyton tonsurans, commonly passed between children with scalp infections, can also cause it. This infection spreads through direct skin contact with an infected person, animal, or contaminated object, like shared towels or gym equipment. It can also spread from one part of the body to another, for instance, from the feet, athlete's foot, to the torso. Athletes, especially those in close contact sports like wrestling, are at increased risk of outbreaks. This specific type is called Tinea corporis gladiatorum. Other risk factors include weakened immunity, such as in people with diabetes or HIV. Tinea corporis typically starts as a red or darkened scaly patch or plaque on the skin. Over time, the lesion often grows outward, forming a circular or ring-like shape with a clear or less red center and a raised scaly border. It can be itchy and uncomfortable. Some cases involve just one or two lesions, but others can have multiple overlapping lesions. In rare cases, small pus-filled bumps may form. If the infection is widespread, it could signal an underlying immune issue, so it's important to discuss this with a healthcare provider. Treatment usually involves antifungal medications, which can be topical for mild cases or oral for more extensive or stubborn infections. Preventive steps such as maintaining good hygiene, avoiding sharing personal items, and treating infected pets can help reduce the risk of spreading or contracting tinea corporis.